and welcome back to Hella Sunnies. I've had a few requests to do uh, an aviator style, and so given my love for throwback styles, I thought I'd jump back into my collection for my older pieces uh, from Randolph Engineering. This is their classic aviator that I'd like to show you today. And the reason I'm showing this off as well is uh, the aviator from Randolph Engineering has really gotten a lot of, has seen kind of a resurgence in popularity as of late. Uh, thanks to Don Draper, uh, the Mad Men character who wears them. Uh, you just go to Google, you can search for Mad Men Don Draper sunglasses, and this is the sunglass that's going to show up. This is the Randolph Engineering Aviator. Randolph Engineering actually has three main aviator styles, but their aviator, as they call it, is, is their, true, uh, it's their true military spec classic. Um, more of a squared off lens, squared off fit as well. Uh, the bayonet arms are really what kind of makes this a signature piece. Uh, there's a few different arm options, but the bayonet I chose obviously just because uh, it's, it's a super classic style. Uh, but this, uh, the, the squared off aviator shape is really kind of also enjoying a resurgence in popularity. A lot of companies are sort of doing a vintage or a throwback aviator right now. You start to see them trickle into the market. I, with, with any luck, I'm sure they'll be, they'll be huge uh, by fall or, or, or next season. You'll see quite a few uh, floating around, but this is the original. Regardless of which aviator came first, my one of my favorite things about Randolph Engineering is that they are true military spec. Um, they've been contracted to the United States military throughout the 1980s and 90s to make uh, sunglasses and uh, RX eyewear as well for the military. Uh, they're contracted for almost every branch of government, uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, uh, NASA, their respect for NASA as well. Um, but very, very cool. They're actually all made here in the United States in uh, Randolph, Massachusetts. I'm not typically a huge fan of aviators. Uh, one, they're a little bit too common. Uh, two, they're too common and the vast majority of the people that wear them wear them incorrectly. They get the wrong size, they get the wrong fit, whatever. Um, and three, I just don't think they look very good on me. However, I'm okay with making an exception with Randolph Engineering for a number of reasons. One, you're able to choose the arms that, you're, that you'd like to have fitted to your glasses. Um, I chose the bayonet again because they were, the original intent of the bayonet was that they fit flush against the side of your head if you're wearing a, you know, a helmet or whatever in the cockpit. This was a, a great engineering design 30 years ago, um, you know, when these really first hit the market. But, but now, I mean, there's, there's, there's better temple designs, but still the classic, still very cool. Also, uh, you're able to choose between three lens sizes. There's 52, which is technically a small, 55, which this is a 55, and 58. And most aviators tend to fall between 57 and upwards of you know, 60, 61, 62 millimeters, which is way too big for most people. Um, I love the 55 because it's just a super clean, it's a very low profile fit, you know, they don't swallow up my entire face. And the square shape um, doesn't actually bump against the tops of my cheeks, which bugs me on other aviators. So. Also, I love the Randolph because, again, being a US manufactured product, everything has a really, really amazing post-industrial kind of a uh, military spec feel to it, obviously because it is military spec, but very utilitarian, um, very industrial. This is the matte chrome color. It has a, has a really, really flat gunmetal hue to it, which I think is incredibly cool. Um, and it just looks and feels really awesome in your hands. The flex is nice. It's fairly minimal though, um, but you can adjust the temples with a little bit of heat. Randolph also guarantees all of the soldering joints on their pieces for life. So if one of these uh, one of these welds here comes undone or whatever, you can send it in and they'll fix it for free and send it back to you, uh, which I think is also very cool. Each sunglass also comes with a kit uh, with a screwdriver, some spare screws, and a few extra nose pieces, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so you can kind of perform regular maintenance and upkeep on your sunglasses. For me, that's a big deal. I think it's just a really cool aftertouch um, that uh, definitely guarantees the life of the product. The overall fit and feel of the Randolph Engineering Aviator uh, is really, really comfortable. It's very lightweight. They just kind of perch. They just balance really nice on your nose and the sides of your head. But most of that incredible fit is actually due in part to the nose pieces. Uh, the bayonet arms don't really grip the side of your head. They just kind of rest on top of your ears. Uh, but the nose pieces are really, really supple and they're very, very tacky. So they keep the piece balanced really nicely without slipping or sliding around, which I think is really, really great. So you get a really, really nice comfort. As I mentioned, you can choose from a number of different arms, there are several different lens options and like five or six different finishes that you can choose from when you customize your own sunglass from Randolph Engineering. 
Again, I chose uh, these options because I wanted kind of a traditional military spec that uh, that doesn't really scream at you, and when you put them on, they just kind of disappear. They don't overwhelm your face. Again, I love that utilitarian finish. Um, the side profile is really cool. They still block out 98 to 100% of harmful UV rays, so you get great coverage there. If you have a smaller face, I would recommend the 52 millimeter. Again, this is the 55. Uh, if you have a larger face or you just love that sort of mirrored, large, and in charge kind of fit, I would go for the 58. Now, if you want the full customization gamut, I would recommend getting them directly from Randolph Engineering. You can get them from a few brick and mortar shops. Usually, they tend to be, um, you know, military outfitters or pilot shops. Uh, they tend to be a little bit off the beaten path, so you do kind of have to hunt around a little bit. You can use the Stockist Finder on Randolph Engineering's website to find uh, a dealer near you. Well, there you have it. This is the Randolph Engineering Aviator. If you have any questions about this piece or you want to uh, leave a review request, you can leave those in the comments below. But as always, keep in mind your face or in the case. Thanks for watching.